Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Jim Rogers 13 here coming at you with a um, Jim Rogers airport update for CLT. <clears throat> um, I'm not, um, we're using operating the same runways uh, as the last one because right now the plane's taking off to the north right now, which is in CLT, that's 36 right, 36 center. So for my version, that's 33 right and left. So that's how it's going to be for this one. But um, there's no new planes. I mean, I haven't bought anything. Um, I'm kind of saving my money because I'm trying to get on the last air train flight coming to Charlotte, or it would leave Charlotte on the 13th of April, <coughs> and then um, it would uh, uh, come land in CLT around 5, no, 6.30, and it would be the last official, so that's what I'm kind of saving my money for to buy right now, so I'm not going to buy any planes right now, but <coughs> I, that's kind of what I'm saving, but anyways, um, you can tell Lufthansa, big Lufthansa is out of the gate, we're, we're brought a big boy into action this time. I have them sitting a lot, but um, all right, we'll get started with Lufthansa. The sunlight, it's just setting right now, so you can get a good, the um, the sunlight's providing a really good tail shot right now, and you kind of only hear that from spotting versions, but the way, um, you just get a good view of the tail, but this is Lufthansa Flight 429, um, and this aircraft is, of course, heading to Munich. Um, right now, it's operating as a 348-300, but I don't have the model of it, so basically, it's going to be the 348-300 until March 28th. And then the big boy comes back, and that's when I mean the big boy. I mean the four engine three forty six hundred that seats three hundred ten people. And when that comes back, that's going to be awesome. I'll be out there for the inaugural flight of it. Um, so, or yeah, inaugural flight of this year. But I'm very, very excited about that one. That's going to be great. But like I said, heading to Munich. Um, over here, um, we have a U.S. Airways A three twenty one, and this aircraft is heading up to Boston. Um, Air Trend Airways uh, 717 200. And if you haven't seen the pictures of the Infinite Flight, please check them out because it's beautiful. Uh, but, anyways, this aircraft is heading over to Baltimore, Washington. Um, we have a U.S. Airways A320. Um, <clears throat> this aircraft is um, flying up to um, New York JFK. Um, we have a little Dash, Dash 8 100. Um, this little boy is going over to, um, or flying down the Hilton Head today. Um, over at th 33 right. Oh, 33 left, sorry. Wait, there's going to get a little bit of a little tail shot here. Ooh, that looks pretty. Um, this 321 is heading Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, A321. Pretty heavy going to Vegas. But um, right here, Delta 737-700 heading out to Atlanta. Um, we have a U.S. Airways Express CRJ-700 um, PSA um, <clears throat> flying up to Harrisburg. We have a Delta A319 with service to uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, U.S. Airways CRJ-900 with service to um, Huntsville, Alabama. U.S. Airways A320 with service to Seattle, Tacoma. Sorry for the shakiness right there. Just trying to stretch my hand over here. Um, United A320 with service to Chicago. Go over to the um, go over my 33 right. Latanz is actually waiting to take off because uh, he's just waiting for uh, this beautiful um, JetBlue I Love New York. Um, this aircraft, of course, just arrived from New York. We don't get daily if you're trying to get E-190s, but we're going to put this plane here because we're not going to be in airport with JetBlue list because we need JetBlue because we love JetBlue. Isn't that nice? Um, we'll go over to uh, Taxiway here. Uh, this aircraft just arrived from Philadelphia, just land on 3-3 uh, three, three left. It's going to go over to the gate. It's going to head out to um, Orlando tonight and come back tomorrow morning and get ready to do another work, another work day. Um, at the gate, now this is serious right here. Now, I was at the airport Tuesday, and I saw this A320. Like, I checked FlightAware, and like 25 minutes later, there was an A320 coming in from Boston, Logan, on JetBlue. And it was this exact same tail. It was a mosaic. Not the same registration, but same tail, which is really special to me because I love JetBlue. But anyways, get to the point. It was just an equipment change. I'm not, so that didn't surprise me. It was either because of weather, and I'm hoping it was because of uh, the plane was over. So I'm kind of thinking it was that because... Let's just say it was, it was pretty heavy when it was taken off. It was it was on the ground for a while, rolling down. But anyways, this is heading up to Boston. It's going to push out pretty quick because we have the county knee flight that's kind of waiting. So this aircraft just arrived from Atlanta. 737, 700. It's going to go back to Atlanta pretty soon. Delta has long turnaround, so this will be here for another hour. You're kind of surprised my Deltas. We're not going kind of try hard today. We usually have a lot of Deltas. I'll kind of do a little talk about Delta quickly, um, what I expect. Here's a Delta A320 that's going to head out to, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Detroit, Air Train Atlanta Falcons. Um, it's on infant flight too, which is better, baby. Uh, this is going to head out to Atlanta, and um, 
we have a Delta A220 that's arrived from the Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson um, International Airport, but it will be heading out to Salt Lake City tomorrow morning. So, Air Canada Jazz CRJ200, um, hey, it's Toronto Pearson. U.S. Airways Express CRJ200, that's going to fly over to Northwest Arkansas. U.S. Airways CRJ900 over to um, <clears throat> Pensacola. Um, U.S. Airways A330-300 with service to Frankfurt, Germany. U.S. Airways A330-200 with service to London Heathrow. And not really getting loaded yet, but it's going to get loaded pretty soon to head out to um, Rio de Janeiro. Love that route. Love it, love it, love it. Um, we'll go over to the hangar. As, as of now, we don't... We're, we're down at 330 right now, so we're not really operating full A330-300. But this 300, just getting maintenance, just getting ready for the summer routes. Um, the summer routes for CLT this year, nothing different than last year, but I'm just going to try to get the plane so I can use all the routes like we do. Um, I have the route for the Dublin flight. Um, I'm very sure on 762s. That is not good. I, I'm, I have Seo Paulo starting June 8th, and I have Madrid coming back, and I have... Um, Rio to worry about because Rio goes back to a 762 for the summer. So we have three 76 routes that we that only have one aircraft for. So I'm going to try to think of something. I'm probably going to try to pick up some extra 762s. I don't really care about that merge. It's not, that's not affecting me right now. It's going to take a while anyway. But um, I would like to do that. But we're good on the, the um, Paris flight with the 330. We're good on Rome. Good on Frankfurt. Frankfurt. We're short 1A through 3300 for. Um, London slash Rome, they both use 300, so we're a little short on that. That's not, I'll think of some thumb alternative plan. I really want to get like all these ready, but then again, that merger is still out there, and I'd rather just wait and then, you know, just kind of sit back and just get everything stacked for um, the merger, but I don't know. That still makes me mad. But anyways, we have a US Series 757 200 that's um, loading up to head out to um, <clears throat> uh, Orlando. A321 was service to um, Tampa Bay. Um, another A321 that's going to fly out to Phoenix, Arizona later. Just want to make sure that focus as well. A321 getting pushed back right now. Um, this aircraft is going to get ready to head out to um, Los Angeles. We have a U.S. Airways A320 with service to um, <clears throat> Atlanta. Um, U.S. Airways A319 Allegheny with service to Northfolk. U.S. Airways A319 um, oops, with service to Richmond. U.S. Airways 734, you, you can tell that, that nice sunlight, but that is pretty cool. Um, this aircraft's heading over to Newark. I'm going to try to get the other side of that. Did a little bit of, yeah, that looks pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. Anyways, um, U.S. Airways A319 PSA. Aircraft's going to head out to, um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> uh, we'll be heading out to Nashville later. Um, and a U.S. Airways 752 just arrived um, <clears throat> from St. Martin. It's going to do a flight to Baltimore. At 8 o'clock, and it'll be back here tomorrow morning for the Caribbean push to St. Martin. It'll just pretty much do the same thing. So that wraps that up. Let me talk about Delta real quick. But um, my problem with Delta is they're really try hard now, Charlotte. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is you go there five minutes later, if you only see two, you'll probably see triple that. So you'll see about six. Um, that's normal. Um, my problem is, is that I have too many Airbus planes and not enough MD88s. Like, I really need MD. Like, I can't get them. We all know that. But my point is, is we really need, like, in general, like, CRJs because I can't, I don't have a Memphis flight. Like, I have Memphis, Cincinnati, JFK, um, LaGuardia. I have all those, I have those, all those four routes right there, and I can't even use them because we don't have a main line on any of those right now. Now, LaGuardia we did last summer, but I think this summer they're just adding an extra CRJ 700. But, like, I really need these CRJs so I can actually do all the other routes because I don't, like, it would be nice to say Cincinnati or, you know, Memphis, because I don't really think of those. But my goal is to actually start thinking of more destinations, because I love other destinations. Like, I kind of added, like, different ones, so I'll try to do that. It's just, like, I, I, I talked to some friends in Xbox on YouTube, 757 US Airways, <clears throat> um, Jumai Airliner. And, like, I'm always, like, I'm going to say this airport, this airport, and it always comes down to, like, I never say the airport. I just make up, I pretty much throw stuff in on the on the spot, so... I wouldn't mind just getting a sheet of paper and just writing it down. But anyways, I'm going to try to do more of that. Um, other than that, um, we'll try to get another update up, maybe one or two more before March 28th. You'll definitely see one on March 29th, I guarantee you that. I'm going to do a collection video tomorrow. That might be a little scary. Just just remember, I've been collecting six years, so don't don't think all I do is buy planes. I've I, uh, been collecting for quite a long time to make it look like that, though, but don't worry. Anyways... <clears throat> 
I'll end the video on that note, but thank you for watching. And like I said, I don't really have any planes coming right now. I just, you know, we're kind of just looking, waiting for this merger. Maybe pick up a new American plane if they ever pick it. Uh, <coughs> Jim I just started releases it pretty soon, but knowing them, they're going to take their little time. So, anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the CLT airport update. Um, see you in the next video. Bye.